remember that, that bus you used to come to New York and Philadelphia, and that great big thing, you and Judd? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they'd cruise around Manhattan Island in this big living bus. Yeah, I've heard more about you today, and I've known you for 112 years now. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that you were going to play for my team, the Philadelphia Phillies. It's my hometown. I uh, know. Yeah, I had a chance to, uh, to sign with the Phillies at one time, Dick. And, uh, Philadelphia Phillies? Yeah, the Philadelphia Phillies. In fact, they almost drafted me, but the Army beat them to it. I, <laughs> the Army drafted me, so I, I went to Japan for a couple of years, and when I got back, the first thing I heard when I got back to San Francisco, I think it was. Yeah, that was fresh. Yeah, that's right. Old did, that, did that change your plans? Oh, that changed my plans a lot. Yeah, I, I, I thought, well, I'd never considered music as a profession up to that point, although, I, like Jerry, I'd sing all my life, you know, as a hobby. But uh, it's something I thought I could do. We, we uh, Elvis sang the, the gospel country and blues thing, and, and uh, that's what Jerry and I grew up on. So I thought, well, I, I think I can do that. So I, I threw down the baseball bat and picked up the guitar, and I've been doing it ever since. Well, you didn't do too bad, bro. Well, I'm hanging in <laughs> So much for the Philadelphia Phillies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You, you told me you headed for Sun Records. Now, that was the home of Elvis and all the rest of you. Why would you go there? Well, I, you know, uh, until I went to the Army, I'd never been north of Helena, Arkansas. And Memphis is about 80 miles north of Helena. But I thought Sun Records was the only label there was. Elvis was on it, and Carl Perkins was on it, and Johnny Cash was on it. Weren't you on it at the same time, or was that later? Hey, eventually, I got on it, yes. Yeah. And just shortly after that, Jerry Lee showed I was the last one on Where'd you first run into him? Oh, you hadn't heard that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to tell this story. But we I, won't tell anybody. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> well, I, Sam Phillips called me in one day, and, and up to this point, I had just been doing demos. You know how we did. Well, yeah. he didn't do too much of that. He walked in there and sang him one song. But I, I cut a lot of stuff with Sam, trying to, and I never did wind up with a contract with Sam. But Sam said, I got, this guy walked in the mall, this cocky dude came in here and <laughs> told me how great he was and what he could do, and, and he said, I want you to hear what he did. And he put this tape on and this song played. And I listened to that. And it was an old, you know, an old country song, you know, dear to my heart. And this guy had taken this song and put this boogie woogie to I said, oh my, Sam. You know, this guy will never make it. He's, this guy? Yeah. This guy right here? This guy right here. <laughs> and that song w went on to become a gigantic smash. And, and, of course, he went on to become one of my all-time favorite artists. So much for your career as a music critic. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, never try to pick up him anymore. Hey, Jerry. You want again? Yeah. Would you mind doing a little bit of that for Dick and I, there just for old time's sake? Did I boogie boogie? Yeah, a little bit. I thought it was. <laughs> Do you remember it? You, Jerry Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Dick, I want you to take a listen to the song that I predicted wouldn't be a hit. All the news is out. It's all over town. Honey, you've been seen. You've been out here running around. Hey, girl, I know. But I should leave, but then Jerry Lee can't go. Honey, you have won again. Trusted in you, oh killer's great sin. But I love you still, as I always will. You and again.
trusted, I trusted you. Honey, that was a killer's great sin. But I love you and I need you. Oh, Hank Williams would have said to Miss Audrey herself, you went again. I'm begging you right now, Mama. You went again. Can you believe that that's the song and this is the man that I predicted wouldn't make it back? Would you, would you like to make a retraction I'd, now? I'd love to have it back. I'd love to have it back. He's something else. Yeah. Um, well, he had a long string of hits, right? He there. sure did. He had a string of hits about as long as this Mississippi River that we're, that we're on right now. You didn't do too badly either. Now, what I'd like to do, though, I love this. This is the part I really like. I'm going to take you back. Are you ready? Back uh, to your baby pictures. Now. Oh, back. Stand, Stand by. Jerry, watch this. Here, look at this. I like that one. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> a long time ago. Oh, you were young. Oh, you were young. <laughs> and pretty. You like that? Uh, so, uh, you know, <laughs> the thing I love about it, they bring back so many, many memories. You guys got to sing together, do something. I mean, can I, you do I'm, it? I'm getting that old feeling too. In fact, the old killer and I might tune up tonight and do something. You got it. Yeah. Gentlemen, one of the greatest stylists to ever come down any pike, and one of the most unique individuals that I've ever known. Our paths crossed a lot back in the rock and roll days, and they still do today in country music. But one of my best friends, the killer, Jerry Lee Lewis. Let's hear it one time. Yeah. Back to him, John said he had to admit it, but he had a lot of fun. We'd like to, uh, to go back a little bit here and do a, a couple of Conway Twitty songs. He's going to do them, not me. From American Bandstand, of course, Dick Clark has American Bandstand. That's rock and roll. Uh, that's Elvis Lee Lewis. <laughs> Conway Twitty. Well, well, we still hook it a little bit, can we kill it? Son, we always hook it. You reckon old Dick will put us back on Bandstand one more time? Smile. Is it only cause you're lonely they have named you? For that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile. Who is your smile to tempt to love a Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. You know they lie there. Cold, lonely, lovely work of art. Oh, daddy boy, oh, daddy 
side The summer's gone and all the roses falling It's you, it's you must go and die Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I 